Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Our House 21 here, and this is a bit of a consumer announcement here, a consumer alert video. This is something new for me, but just bear with me. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I have recently been alerted to the fact that I have been, well, point blank, I got ripped off. And, uh, and the, the source of that is this little guy that you see down in here. So let's go ahead and position, we'll get this guy out of here. So we're looking at Dizzy. Here. And as you guys, you guys are well, well aware, Dizzy is my, my purpose built 100 mile an hour slash uh, LCG 4x4. So AKA rally, you know, whatever you want to call it. But Dizzy is a dedicated speed machine. Problem is, well, so I decided that I will build this thing with around a Castle Creations 2650 KV 1512 motor. And I saw online a deal that just seemed to be too good to be true. And a wise man once told me that if you see something that looks too good to be true, it probably is. So, but I saw this deal in a couple of places so I figured that it had to be true so I'm jumping a little bit ahead but anyway you see here this is this is Dizzy's motor and Dizzy's motor has actually been through a lot but looking at it see very clearly Castle Newcastle 2650 KV motor made in China so looking at this there were a couple clues that something was amiss. So, but I put this motor in and, and look at it. So right here, you've got Dizzy's 26, no. 2650 KV. And this right here is a genuine, bona fide, honest to goodness, no kidding, absolutely 100% authentic 1717 motor, which I got from Dollar Hobbies. And this guy right here is a 1410, uh, Wow, you said kind of a rough life. But yeah, this is my 1410 motor, basher motor that came out of uh, out of scratch. So this motor, Bonafide Real Castle, came from um, a, came from a reputable online online retailer. This guy right here came from Castle Creations, or I should say, came from Dollar Hobby, and then this guy came from a place that I thought was. A bona fide online retailer so bottom line is i discovered that this guy and another motor which i got from a different online retailer were both counterfeit now looking at these guys side by side you know i mean you look at the large can castle motors i mean this thing is very 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 similar you know it's about the same i actually measured this it's the same dimensions it's the same weight you know mechanically it's virtually identical when you look at the top of it well, I had a motor plane on here, but you know, looking at it, there's very little indicating that there's anything you miss. But once you get into it, first thing, if you look right here, and I didn't pick up on this earlier, this is a sticker on the other real castle motors that I have. This is actually this is actually machined in and then anodized. Well, it's painted. So but yeah, this is not a sticker. This is like real or embossed in. And again, going over here as well on this 1410. So clue number two. And you can actually find all these things online. But if you look here at, okay, on this motor, it doesn't have it. But on the authentic 15, uh, on the authentic 1512 motors, you will see that it actually says, oh wow, this one's even different than the other one. The other one was different. So the Castle Creations, the stamp, on, on the 1512s actually had 1512 KV motor machine in the here. But on this case, you don't see that. Q 
here you've got 14 this is again a 1410 and it doesn't have that as well so actually that's interesting so the ones that you see online well here you see 1410 300 kV motor but you know, for some of them they actually have this machine but the fake motors have it done so that it looks right side up when it's sitting here where the other motors the real motors have the machine where it's down the other way this motor doesn't have the machine on it at all so next indicator looking at it if you look at all the castle wires so let's see if i can zoom out here it says castle creations gives you the gauge of the wire so that in this case this is a 13 gauge wire and also gives you a temperature range 200 c here we'll go back this is a real no kidding castle for, uh, 17 17 motor x01 motor you see castle creations 10 gauge wire 200 c and it's you know in here pretty good so this motor it says castle creations but this is a different font and it's also a different color so it just says castle creations incorporated which none of these guys do it just says castle creations and it gives you a gauge it's actually written differently the castle creations are 10 awg again over here you have awg this one right here just says 10 ga and there's no temperature on here so between those things you know, it's pretty clear that this motor is not a real castle creations but it's very a very uh, close mechanical facsimile so am i upset yeah i am but i'm not because the price i paid for this like i said was too good to be true um, i paid about fifty dollars for each of my two motors and one of which i've since moved on to someone else um and don't worry i didn't try to sell it well when i thought it was real i sold it as real but the buyer caught the fact that it was fake and he, he alerted me to the issue so i negotiated with him and i gave him a refund so um so i basically gave him a refund for the price of what you would pay for one of these online so if you look online on ebay you'll see these on sale for anywhere between 40 and 50 dollars now now let's kind of put it in perspective so these guys the suggested retail price of these motors are about two hundred dollars like 199 okay um and here the suggested retail price of these you know, like 17 17 is a lot more than that now it's true this is not a real castle motor and because it's not a real castle motor you know it's funny because I was running dizzy you know in all my speed runs I got dizzy over 70 miles an hour and actually on, the, on so over 70 mile an hour in 3s and it exceeded 75 or well, 74 and a half mile an hour in 6s before I melted the slipper clutch so it's clearly putting out a lot of power but the numbers I was getting were not matching what I was predicting so I just figured that maybe my math was a little bit off but now knowing what I know it all makes sense because castle creations one of the things that makes their motor special is because they're a very efficient motor you know and that's you know efficiency you know, efficiency is really what separates the difference between a good motor and a not so good motor so castle creations and Poseidon motors you know these are motors that are approaching um well actually castle doesn't publish what their efficiency numbers are however you know, a good electric motor is going to be around 80-85% efficient. Okay, so about 80-85% of the energy that you put into the motor is going to actually turn into spin on its own shaft. Um, and, you know, so for both of these guys, the real, like, with the, you know, with uh, the motors running in slate, over here, my numbers matched up really well. You know, assuming, you know, a good motor efficiency. This motor was always falling short. It wasn't hugely short. It was in a similar ballpark, but it was always short. So, and that makes sense now because if, I mean, this clearly was not 
an 80 to 90 percent efficient motor it may have been a 60 to 70 percent efficient motor which is about what you expect from a lesser quality you know chinese motor however it did still take busy to over 70 miles an hour through yes so for 50 bucks i had a motor that produces a lot of torque you know makes a lot of power and at least was able to get me some sets of runs you know at over 70 miles an hour so bang for the buck you know it kind of it does what it it did, it did what i needed it to do however it's not a real castle motor so how many runs do i actually get out of this thing i don't know this thing could blow up tomorrow so i'm paying some risk so it has no warranty you know and it's it's just some random motor that of the right can size so what am i going to do with this thing i'm still trying to figure that out actually i mean it is a it is a functional motor and honestly in the universe of 50 dollars motors this is a pretty good 50 dollars motor however it's not the motor that i need because going to trying to get this car over 100 miles an hour you know i know for a fact that the efficiency is not where it's supposed to be with this motor so it's not going to take me there so this has been a plan all along but the plan has been accelerated now so this motor the 1717 is now going to be implanted into dizzy so my next set of runs that you see dizzy out there on the street he's going to have this giant on board so and i know for a fact this is a lot more efficient and it's a darn good motor so um so yeah this is going to be fun but Again, like I was saying, as for this guy right here, now I'm thinking that, I mean, it's, again, it's still a functional motor, it works. And even though, you know, I feel kind of bad about doing this, I think I might just throw it into my dasher car, Scratch. And then that would just be a nice torquey motor, and then I can just use it as an experiment to see how long this thing actually runs before it implodes. So I'm still just making up my mind. You know, I might just uh, put another 14 pin back in it you know, and just call it a day, and uh, maybe even put this guy in Slate just to see what it'll do for that speedrun application. So like I said, I, I have some decisions to make, um, but it's clear that this is not the motor that I thought I bought. But then again, I should have known better. You know, you see a, a $200 motor on eBay for $50, you should suspect something's wrong. If something's too good to be true, it probably is, and this was too good to be true. So guys, be aware, if you look up, uh, if you go to Castle Creations blog, you'll see uh, indications or more information about the counterfeit Chinese motors. And also if you uh, search online, you'll also, and I'll splice in some photos that will go into more detail to show you how to identify a counterfeit motor from a real motor. The problem with doing that, of course, is that as soon as people start to publicize this, the guys in China, these guys manufacture with you know, pretty um, flexible uh, techniques. So if once people know how to spot this crop of motors, they'll probably just change it and make them different. And they'll probably make the next batch even closer. So the real solution to this is, you know, use your brain, use common sense. And this is something that I did not do in this case. I got taken by a price tag that was too good to be true. So if you see a $200 motor advertised as new for $50, it probably either fell off a truck or a counterfeit, or it maybe fell off a counterfeit truck. Either way, don't trust it. So, I mean, unless you're just looking for something cheap, throw in something and run with it, but it's not gonna be a real motor. So, it's, Castle's a great company. Castle stand behind their products. Even if you do, even if you're out of warranty, they're willing to work with you for certain things. And they have that all described on their, on their website with their out of warranty trading program. So, again, if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. A $50 Castle motor that should be $200, it should be very suspicious to all parties involved. So I actually bought these motors before the consumer announcements were out there. So you know, I guess I, I guess you could say I have an excuse because I was probably one of the first people to get taken, but I still got taken. So, all right, well, as they say, live and learn. And that's part of how you fly, fix, fly. You break it, you fix it, do it all over again. And you learn your lessons and you do it better next time. 
So our house 21 signing out. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and remember the mantra. Like I said, fly, fix, fly, break it, fix it, and do it all over again. Remember to get out there and experiment. Because for some of you guys, maybe you just want a $50 motor that you can just throw in and don't care about and watch how, watch how quickly it blows up. You know, it all depends on what your objectives are. You know, but if you're trying to get something that's reliable that you can definitely lean on and know it's going to be good for you and uh, in hard situations, you know, just buy Castle and buy them from a, a good authorized source or a place that you know for a fact you know has legitimate products. All right, guys, peace.